Okay, we are making allergy friendly, diabetic friendly, keto, all the things, uh, lemon bars today. So we made them as healthy as we can without it better. So, you know, <laughs> all the things that are important to me, better is not one of them. Um, <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> we have enough allergies. I don't have to worry about that one. You could use a vegan butter if you wanted to do that. We're going to do a half cup of monk fruit. So for the, um, what is that called? The cookie crumb. What is that called? The bottom, the crust part. There's a word for it. I can't think of it. So a half cup of sugar, I'm using monk fruit. And then it is a half a pound of butter, which is two sticks of butter. So 16 tablespoons. And then I have my flat paddle on here and I'm just gonna cream this a little bit. I'm gonna cream it a little bit and I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. This is the vanilla I made. We're going to use um, two cups of almond flour and then a quarter teaspoon of salt. I just have some ground Himalayan salt, pink Himalayan salt. This is a 9 by 13 baking dish. You can use metal or glass. So I am going to. I'm just going to cut up the sides a little bit and I'll help it fold. So on the triangles and if you wet your fingers a little bit and put a little bit of water in here, then the parchment paper will stick in there. Maybe. Set. Okay. So it's just like a cookie crust here. This is called a shortbread crust. Plop it in there like that and then push it down with the fingers. So so I'm going to bake these for I don't know like 20 minutes. I never know. <laughs> I'm going to bake these for this the crust part the shortbread crust part for 20 minutes um first and then move on to the next step of preparing the lemon part. One of the things that we need for this is monk fruit, but when I made it over 4th of July weekend, I noticed that the monk fruit didn't dissolve all the way like sugar would, so I'm going to actually powder the monk fruit first um, for this recipe, so I'm going to do that in my Vitamix, but to make powdered monk fruit, all you need is monk fruit and a little bit of, I use arrowroot powder, but you can use cornstarch also, so a cup of monk fruit to a tablespoon of whatever cornstarch or arrowroot that you're using and blitz it in your blender for 30 seconds and you will have powdered sugar so you don't have to buy the super expensive cup of it at the store. So I just added the lemon zest there to the top of the powdered sugar and I'm just going to mix it in a little bit and then I'm going to juice it in a bowl so I don't accidentally get seeds in it. I have a little mesh strainer. I normally set it there. I don't have to worry about the seeds so much. Alright, these are eggs from our backyard chickens. So they are room temperature and I have washed them. Um, if you are getting them from the store, make sure that you set them out for about a half an hour so they get to be room temperature before you make this recipe. This is also a good way to use up a bunch of eggs if you have extras that need to be used up. This whole recipe needs seven eggs. Okay, we're making the lemon curd feel, filling. We're making the lemon curd filling to go on the lemon bars and those just pulled out of the oven. I'm using almond flour. You could use all purpose if you want to, but I'm using almond to make it gluten free. So one cup of flour is going to go into my KitchenAid and I have the whisk attachment on it. And then this is three cups of monk fruit that I made into powdered sugar. So if you're using regular sugar, only use three cups of sugar. It's, so it's fluffed up and it looks like it's more, but it's still only three cups. So I'm gonna put that in there. And then I had put the lemon zest in there already. So it's a lemon zest of five lemons. And then this is the lemon juice and some of the pulp out of five lemons. I did it on a strainer so there was no seeds. So I'm going to add that. It's pouring down the side. 
five, and this is seven room temperature eggs. Okay, just gonna whisk this up. All right, so this baked for about 22 minutes. My oven seems to hate me some days, so start checking it at 15 minutes. I should have probably rotated it halfway through, so if your oven is a pain in the butt like mine, you might want to do that. All right, this is the lemon curd. I'm just going to pour it over the top. Okay, ready? In the oven, this goes for 30 to 35 minutes. Since I don't have my cute little um, powdered sugar shaker thing here, because I gave it to somebody, this is why I'm going to do it. So I just have my mesh strainer. I'm just going to put a little bit in here and then I'm going to start tapping it. So I let this cool on the countertop for about an hour and then it needs to go in the refrigerator for a couple hours. My favorite thing about making these lemon bars is they need to be made ahead of time. So I can make them the night before and put them in the refrigerator and they are best served Cold. Perfect for bringing to a friend's house at the lake or a barbecue or just enjoying a sweet treat anytime. These also can be cut into bars and frozen so you can have a summer lemon treat any time of the year.